Penicillin V is a very common antibiotic that, used to tr that is used to treat infections, particularly of the ear, nose and the throat area, but also chest infections. It is, however, a very good uh, general antibiotic and therefore can be used in other situations, such as where a child may have a skin or bone infection. The fact that it's called penicillin V obviously signifies that it's a member of the penicillin group of antibiotics and therefore if you are penicillin allergic you should avoid this antibiotic completely. It's usually given um, in a dose regime that uh, is four times per day uh, but this can change sometimes depending upon um, the requirements um, uh, dictated by your doctor. The dose that's actually given is dependent on your child's weight or age. Uh, and your GP or paediatrician will, will actually calculate the correct dose for your child and this is specific to your child uh, and shouldn't be changed in any way. Parents often wonder what to do if a child vomits um, after being given a dose of penicillin V. Uh, if a child vomits within 30 minutes of being given a dose, the general rule of thumb is that you can repeat the dose um, as it's unlikely to have been absorbed fully. If, however, more than 30 minutes has passed, then um, uh, my recommendation would be that you then omit giving a, a repeat dose um, <clears throat> as it's likely that your child has actually absorbed all of those antibiotics. And how about side effects? What, what are the common side effects? Um, as with other antibiotics, uh, upset of the stomach um, and including diarrhea can occur uh, quite commonly in children. This is usually rel relatively mild um, and short-lived. So if it is severe and uh, it persists for more than 24 hours, you should seek um, the input of your GP to determine whether or not your child needs to be changed to another type of antibiotic or drug completely. More severe side effects include uh, allergic phenomena and that includes things such as skin rashes or itching, shortness of breath or wheeze, and uh, if more severe, face, lip or tongue swelling. In these situations, uh, you should take your child to hospital uh, or call an ambulance if you think that the reaction is severe enough. Thank you.